I'm gonna wave this magic wand all over my skin and be 20 again. Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a review on the Michael Todd Beauty Sonic Eraser. I picked this up early November. I have been using this for over a month now, long enough to have a formed opinion on this little deal. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about it today. I am really excited to share this with you guys because when I first saw this, I had some high hopes, you know, I, I had some thoughts. It's, you know, it's making some claims, it's doing some stuff, and I thought, maybe, just maybe, this might be a really nifty and helpful functioning facial skincare gadget, that's a lot, to use. Okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. And we're gonna touch on some other subjects, so I felt that this would be something good to share with you guys because if you're like me, as time marches on, we want to go ahead and take care of our face. We want to take care of our skin. We want to look our best. And, and with that, and with time, comes gravity, which is happening all over our face. And you want to keep things, you know, up and firm and lifted. And that's just, you know, it's just the way things are. You know, most, most women, you know, and men, some men too, want to keep that firm, healthy, vibrant, youthful look as long as we can, especially if you don't want to do surgeries and things like that. So I myself am afraid of needles. I don't have any fillers. I've never done any Botox. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want to go ahead and do that, totally fine. I don't think that's my journey because those things terrify me. But I'm going to touch on something that I have tried today. And I've also tried many skincare products like this little gadget here to see if, you know, they would do something to improve the elasticity and the firmness of my skin. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you can afford it and you want to give it a shot, I say go for it. Now, I'm not going to recommend that you go out and rush and buy this or do anything, you know, surgically wise for that matter. I'm just really sharing a story because these are my experiences. It is your money. You do with it as you please. I would never tell you what to go ahead and buy and try. That is entirely up to you. This is just a little bit of info. If you happen to be curious, I've already purchased it. So I can go ahead and let you know my thoughts and you can just go ahead and go from there. Okay. So with that being said, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. I saw this on the Macy's website and it being before Christmas, there was a sale going on and I went ahead and I went and I picked it up and I got this for $57 and change. I just looked it up on a website here and it's going for $89. So I got one heck of a sweet deal that I, I didn't even realize. And a lot of times I don't go in depth with my research on a lot of these things. I just think, oh, that, you know, looks interesting and or cool and I can afford it and I, I wouldn't mind giving it a try. But the claims that this thing is making are like, I mean, that's like, look at these pictures. I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere so you guys can see because I don't know if it's going to come up proper in the maybe. I don't know if you can see it. Cool. If not, you know, there's going to be pictures regardless, but that's, that's pretty dramatic for this little deal. So what is it that you get? You get this. Let's talk about it for a minute. Oh, and you also get this. It's the little cradle that you can use to plug it in and keep it you know, charged because it's fun. I'll show you that in a second. So what it says here, we're going to read together. <laughs> we're going to have a commercial moment and it is Sonic Eraser. Let's, let's get into it. This will be fun. Hold on. Let me get my glasses. Sonic Eraser Pro uses our unique triplex infusion technology to improve the absorption of your skincare products up to eight times better than with hands alone, resulting in firmer, tighter, toned skin. Sonic technology quickly, painlessly, and safely helps push your skincare products into your skin, resulting in an increased absorption. Ionic technology forms a circuit when touched to your skin, conveniently turning the Sonic Eraser Pro on and off when removed from the skin, avoiding the splatter and waste of product. Ooh. Thermal technology gently warms to 170 degrees Fahrenheit to open the pores and help prepare the skin to better receive and absorb the ingredients in your skincare products. Independent clinical study comparing serum application Sonic Eraser Pro versus applying fingertips before and after. So this is a 28 day thing that they're doing here and that's just, okay. So let's just read what, what they're saying here. After 14 days, skin moisture levels increased by 61%. Skin brightness increased by 39%. Appearance and skin elasticity increased by 35%. Signs of permanent skin aging decreased by 500%. Shut the up. Okay, let me redo this. 
Skin brightness, tone, increased by 394%. Appearance of skin elasticity increased by 352%. Signs of premature skin aging increased by 500%. I thought in a, so my thoughts in a range of like to 100, is that just me? Because I would think 89%, 100%, I, I don't know, it's saying 500%. But okay, so we've got major increase happening here. That's what, That's what's going on. After 28 days, skin brightness increased by 518%. Appearance of fine lines and wrinkles decreased by 61%. Okay, so moisture 61%, wrinkles 61%, but everything's in like the 500, 300 for everything else, which is already kind of ridiculous, but okay. Like I said, I didn't research it the way I probably should have, so that's just, that's just me. All right, system includes Sonic Eraser Pro Infusion Tool, which is this, and the wireless charging cradle, which is this, and the plug, which is this. Okay, so that's what we got on the back of that. Basically, after 28 days of using this, it's supposed to help firm and lift and tone the skin in a way that is like almost too good to be true. I've used this for more than 28 days, and here are my thoughts. What I'll tell you right away is that the Sonic deal, it's you'll see here when you put it on the skin that's when it turns on and it is nice when it starts to heat up it's it gives a nice warming sensation to the face it it does give a nice sonic massage have i seen any of the results that they are claiming here and the answer to that would absolutely be no 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 way would i spend 80 something dollars on this no the the 60 dollars basically after tax that i spent on this i i think you know for what it is still a little on the pricey side it's nice it's not terrible, but what it's claiming to do, I have not seen at all in my face. I, I, I went, let me just say this. In 2019, in October of 2019, right near the end of the year, just before 2020 hit like a train wreck, I went ahead and decided to get ultra therapy done. And it is like ultrasound therapy that you get on your skin that is supposed to tighten and lift and create more collagen production in your skin. This procedure for the entire face is $4,000. Yeah, <laughs> here's the deal. I looked into it, I researched it. I It seemed like a great thing at the time because I don't do needles and all that and I didn't want to do a facelift or anything so extreme, but I wanted to do something to refresh and lift my skin without something that was, you know, a, a, a filler or anything like that, I thought that it would be a good avenue for me to, you know, to try. So that it wasn't a full-on facelift, but it, you know, would have the same kind of look as if I'd gotten a lift or filler or something like that done. So I went ahead and I tried it. After many, many years of going back and forth and thinking about it, okay, not many years, it, what was it? It was like, like, I thought about it for like two years before I finally decided that I was going to go ahead and do it. And I committed to it and I went and I did it and I spent the money. I had it done. And to be quite frank, I didn't see a lot of results with that either. It was a very painful procedure. It was a very costly procedure. And in the end, my face looked pretty much the same. I found that I got the same effect in doing face yoga, which is something you could do for free. So I do like these little gadgets. I do buy them and try them because I have an interest in them and I know that I'm not the only one. So do I like this? I, I do. I don't think that it does anything amazing for my skin. Ultra therapy didn't even, you know, imagine that. It's like, oh God, $4,000 later and my skin basically, my face looks the same. I mean, it just does. So even though it didn't do what I wanted, I was, ex I had very high expectations because that's a lot of money for, for this kind of deal. It, it's something that I really wanted to try. It didn't give me the results that they were claiming it to give, just like this hasn't given me the results that it's claiming to give. But we're talking about a very pricey procedure that, you know, I now kick myself for doing because nothing really happened from it, which is really unfortunate. But I know me. I thought about it for so long and I'm just one of those people that some things I have to learn from actually experiencing it. And yes, it was a very pricey expense. It was a very expensive lesson to learn, but I would never have let it go. I would always have wondered, would it have worked for me if I had tried it? Would I have seen some positive change in my skin if I had actually gone and gotten it done? So I knew I wasn't going to let it go. So I actually went ahead and did it. And yeah, I have, I have regrets, but you know, I, I did learn and I'm 
not going to go down that road again. I'm going to do my best to care for my skin, you know, with either doing face yoga or, you know, different products and things like that, rather than try the expensive, you know, crazy face treatments that unfortunately, you know, for me anyway, didn't really work and it wasn't really worth that. So I do buy these little gadgets and I will most likely continue to do so. So let's, let's talk about this product aside from Ultra Therapy and what I experienced there. I think it gives a really nice sonic massage. It feels really nice on the skin. It's a nice way to experience like an at-home spa day and, and that's something that I enjoy doing. I like doing the whole like face treatment at home, you know, kind of experience. It's very relaxing. It's, it's very almost cathartic, therapeutic for me to do that kind of thing. So I do enjoy this. I have been using it in my routine and I think it's nice, you know, I wouldn't spend more than 40 bucks. I kind of regret the $60 for it, but still, you know, I don't regret having it, you know, have used it. Is, is it going to do something that's dramatic and crazy for your skin and show this amazing lift and firm and bright and oh my gosh, it's like, I haven't looked this way since I was 20. It's not going to do any of that. It's just not, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. There's no way it's not going to do that, but it is fun. It's a fun little gadget. And I do feel like, you know, it does have a little bit of absorption, you know, when it comes to my products and stuff. Sure. You know, it's certainly not absorbing into this. So yeah, I mean, it can help with that but it's not going to turn back the hands of time on your face at all. And another thing that I will mention with this, I, I do use it at the end of my skincare with a face oil because it tends to drag on the skin and you don't want to be pulling and tugging on your face because that's going to cause more problems and more issues down the line. So if you're going to, you know, buy this and, and give it a shot, I recommend that you do use something that has slip to it so you can maneuver it over your face without, you know, the pulling and the tugging, especially around the delicate eye area. You don't want that. You're just, you're going to cause more wrinkles and crinkles and be even more unhappy with, you know, the, the stuff that you're trying to, you know, combat in the first place. So aside from that, I'm glad that I got it. And like I said, I mean, I really gave this thing a try. I, I was paying close attention to see if it was doing anything for my skin, if it was anything that was even, you know, worth it for you guys. If you wanted to go ahead and check it out, if you chose to do so yourself, then, you know, I would have something, you know, concrete to report. And what I have to say is that you really don't need it. I mean, if you like this sort of thing, if you like gadgets like I do, then, you know, and you're interested in it, sure. I mean, give it a shot. It's, it's cool. I'm not saying it's terrible, but you're not going to look like the picture is just really, I mean, come on now. That's not good. Ultra therapy didn't even do that for me. So this thing here, the sonic deal, it's going to do it. I don't think so. But you know, I, like I said, I don't regret it. It's fun. I enjoy using it. And for that, it's totally fine. And it also gave me a chance to sit down and talk with you guys and, you know, share this moment with you, which I really wanted to do anyway. So for that, it's surprising. Let me know what you think about facial skincare products like these. Do you like little gadgets like these? And if you do, which ones have you found that work for you? Which ones, you know, don't work for you? I have the Clarisonic and they went out of business, which is like, hmm, that's, that's something. But you know, there's always another one that will, you know, come up right behind them with gadgets that are pretty similar to what they're throwing out. So I have also the new face, that little mini one. I think that's kind of cool, but I saw that Jen Loves Reviews did a review on that one and I, you know, looked into some of the stuff that they were talking about how the, the particular device doesn't really do anything to firm the skin. What you're really seeing is that the hyaluronic acid in the prepping gel that they recommend you use for it is what's plumping those wrinkles and, and giving you that, that fresh glowy look. It's actually the skincare product and not the uh, gadget itself, which is very shocking. You know, you might want to check out that video if you're thinking about buying one of those you know, new face things. If you got like a gift card for Christmas, maybe you want to rethink. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. So anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. I want to thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I'm so excited about this new year coming up for us to share it together and laugh together. I love you guys so much. I hope y'all are safe and I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. Thanks. Bye. That is so, uh, on a care deal that they got. That's really how I feel about it. I just think for it. I'm gonna wave this magic wand all over my skin and be 20 again. Before we get started, I just wanna say, if you need, if you need me, yeah, I'm all kinds of 
jacked up today. I don't know what the hell's happening, but I can't seem to convey the thoughts. They're not coming out of my mouth. The thoughts are here and it's not, you know, happening the way it should.